Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG Games, and I'm going to be, uh, sadly, continuing my Blender Modifiers tutorial series. Now, the reason I say sadly is because right now I'm working on a bug with the HUD. Um, I've been able to script the ammo, but for some... I mean, I've been able to script the health, but for some reason my health... Um, my ammo script has not been working. So I've been working on that bug, still working on that, but I needed to get a tutorial at the beginning of the month, so I'm going to get start again my Blender Modifiers tutorial series. So, uh, I don't remember what we did in the last one. Let's just go look. In the last section, we did the generate. And we did the array, the bevel, the boolean, the build, decimate. We didn't do edge split and mask. We did mirror. We didn't do multi-res. We did remesh. We didn't do screw. We didn't do skin, we did solidify, subdivision surface, triangulate, and wireframe. So we didn't do a bunch of those, but those deal with a few things, and I'm still working on those. So now we jump into a new category. This is the deform. Now, the deform is a bit weird, and we're going to get into those. But for this one, um, we're just going to start out with the basic deform that you can use, and that is the armature. So let's get started. But before we get started, don't forget to check out our website. There'll be an annotation up there, but there'll be also a link in the description if you are using the mobile version. Don't forget to subscribe um, because if you subscribe, you'll never miss a tutorial, whether it be on how to make a HUD or how to or on the Blender modifiers. And then also, don't forget to check us out on social media: Instagram, Twitter, and Google Plus. Instagram is at JG and underscore Games. Twitter is at JG and Games, and Google Plus is JG and Games. So without further ado, let's get started. To show you guys that I'm just using a completely clean project, I'm going to hit Command N and reload the startup file. So the armature modifier is a little bit weird because it's tricky to work with. But first of all, the armature requires something, and you guessed it, an armature. So I'm going to hit Shift A, and you'll see that we have this, the armature tab. Just add a single bone. Now, that works, but the problem is you can only see, the only thing we can see is the top part of the bone up there. And we don't want that. We want to be able to see the entire bone when we're working on it. So a cool tip for working with this is to scroll over on your tab or just to expand it, like I'm going to do, and click on this, the armature tab, and go to x-ray. That should help a little bit. So now let's get started. Um, that just is going to allow us to where we can see it without having to go into wireframe. All right, so now let's hit tab and let's add some new bones. Now, obviously, you don't have to go shift A, single bone, and parent them to each other each time. That would be absurd, and Blender is way better than that. There's actually a f function that is really cool with armatures where you can just, and they, I think Blender is implemented very well, is to use edit mode rather than creating a new mode entirely. So you'll see with this, we have three objects we can select. We have the head, the entire object, and the tail. Now, basically, if you take this and you extrude, if you click on the entire thing, I should say, you extrude from the head. But you can also just choose to extrude just from the head. You can extrude, you can um, extrude just from the tail. Whoops. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just command Z. I'm going to hit E to extrude. And I'm going to hit Z so I lock it on the Z axis. And I'm just going to move it to the bottom of the cube. Now, that's a pretty standard rig right there. But let's apply this. There's two ways we can apply this. And I'm going to show you guys the, the modifier one first because this is a Blender modifiers tutorial. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. Oops, move the cursor. I'm going to click on this object, the object we want to apply to. I'm going to go to modifiers, add modifiers, armature. Now for object, it's going to let you select the armature. And that should do just fine. I would go ahead and say bind to bone envelopes. I don't know what all those do. But now, oh, dead gummit. Just ignore that. It'll go away. Stupid ad. Um, so now, if I move this, you'll see it doesn't do anything. And that's because... The, the process behind applying this is a little bit more complex than the modifier itself is. So I'm going to jump back into object mode, and I'm going to delete the armature from just the modifier from there. The way I found easiest is to just deselect everything, 
select the object that you want, then hit shift and select the object, the armature, and hit control P with automatic weights. The reason that it doesn't work to just go in and apply it with the modifier is because it needs weights. There's a thing if you go on these objects and you go to weight paint, you can see that there's different areas of the objects that are controlled by the bones, especially, and um, if I click on, if I go back into object mode and I select the armature, like you can see it's, the weight is different for each one. I mean, I could paint stuff down here if I wanted to, but that would be dumb because then that would allow one bone to control the entire thing. So that's basically what I'm getting at. Uh, understand me? Clears mode? Good. So now I'm just going to jump back into object mode. I'm going to select this and notice that I've gone in, now that I've gone into pose mode once, it allows me to go in there again every time I click on a bone. So I'm going to go into three and I'm going to just click on this bone right here and I'm going to hit R and now you'll see that the armature begins to work. But this is a, this is quite boring. I mean, you can use this for making ramps, for making speakers real quick, but it's honestly easier just to go ahead and make this yourself. So the way I like to do this, to, and I think the way that everybody should do this, is to hit tab. That will um, jump out of your mesh um, presets, so it, and you'll notice that it has automatically added the armature modifier. So I'm just going to go here, and if you subdivide twice, that makes it a much cleaner and actually a much cooler um, effect because that's a little bit more complex to make. And if we jump into pose mode, we could go ahead and make this, I don't know, like that. You can even move the bones if you chose to. I can hit one, um, not one. And now you'll see if you move the bones, it disconnects them from the parent. So just be mindful of that. And you can move them around and you can rotate them and you could create something really cool like that for 3D printing or whatnot. Um, armatures aren't just useful in mod um, modeling. I've seen them used in several things. I've seen them used in filmmaking using the Blender engine for editing films. I've used, I've dead serious, I've seen it used. And that's the nice thing about Blender is that everything that you, all these modeling tools can be used as parent objects. So you can set, and one of the coolest things is using it as a parent, because you can parent stuff to the bone so that so you can parent stuff like one into the head and one into the tail so that they always, they can, they always stay that far apart. And that's pretty cool. And you can see like where they're going and correlation to that. So that's something real cool. That's basically all there is to the armature. I honestly, don't have a clue about this. I mean, you can see preserve bulk volume just really makes it bigger. Vertex groups, I mean, I would always keep that check. Multi modifier, uh, I don't know. Bone envelopes. Honestly, the really the only thing you need to know is how to apply it, and then you'll be set. So just remember, don't apply it from the modifiers tab. Do it within the shape. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see this so-called HUD tutorial series that I've been making. There will be a link down there to watch the first one in which we designed the dynamic, I mean the static objects, not the dynamic objects, the static objects. Um, there'll be a link down there. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.